as someone who's working and, and teaching the industry, you don't know if what you do actually matters. So I felt like when I did come to class, I was always met with you know a certain warmth and enthusiasm. My students really inspired me to kind of you know want to be a better uh, teacher this semester. So my class is made up of about 22 students. I basically guide and advise students into picking their showcase scenes that they're graduating and basically displaying uh, for a one-day showcase for industry professionals. So throughout the course, um, helping them pick their scenes, giving them feedback on the scenes that they picked. And then I also help them with their headshots, their resumes. You know, we talk a lot about websites. We talk a lot about like industry uh, in New York and just giving them, you know, guidance in terms of their careers after they graduate. The showcase was a super fun uh, process of kind of taking everything we've learned over the last couple of years and kind of present ourselves for the first time to the New York theater industry. So the process for selecting a scene for showcase started out, I would say, in January. So in January, we started bringing in scenes, training with different people, seeing what worked, what didn't. And then by March, I had found a scene from the movie Do Revenge because I wanted to do something that was up my alley, comedy, and I brought it into class the, ne the next day and I read it with three different people until my friend Diana read the other role with me and we were like, oh, we actually work pretty well together. And Chi Chi, our professor, was super helpful in terms of uh, helping us out with scene selection and, and just making the scene super sharp. I did a piece from the play, Georgia Merching is Dead. It's a scene that I had worked on before in a previous acting class last year, and I kind of brought it back in for showcase uh, with a different scene partner this time around. It was a really great experience getting to work on that piece. We worked really hard on the scene, rehearsed a lot, and I felt like we got to a great place with it. There's a lot of nerves going into the final weeks of showcase, so I think the more I could just better prepare the students to make sure that they were off book, to make sure that they knew their scenes inside and out. So it's really about just calming them down as much as possible, making sure that they're comfortable, and at the end of the day, making sure that they're also just confident in the work that they chose. Working with Chi Chi was so wonderful. I had her first for the fall semester, and she was our portfolio teacher for all of the seniors. And she knows so much and is so kind. While we know like the showcase is not the end of the world, and it's just literally a three minute scene, it can feel heavy sometimes. It can feel like, oh, my career depends on this three minute scene that I'm about to do. She like assured us that it wasn't. You know, you want to do your best work, but life goes on after showcase. I feel like I had a great group of students. Folks came in ready to, to work and ready to ask questions. People would be prepared. Folks would have their homework done, they would have their scenes, and they'd be off book. It has kind of made my job easier. I wanted to really bring in folks that they could meet and connect with and network with because I feel like they deserved it. Since the showcase, I've been reached out to by a few different casting directors, spoke about potentially meeting. It was definitely a great experience, and the mentorship that I received from Chi Chi along the way was invaluable. I am supposed to come back next year to finish my master's. I have a manager that I've been signed with for about two years, and so I'm auditioning a lot and hopefully booking something soon. This is basically kind of like a, a way for you to also showcase your work and all the work that you've been doing through the years as an artist. And whatever you also put into the program, you're gonna get back. We were all very supportive of each other, so the energy was very loving and everyone was cheering each other on from backstage. The last show was a little bit sad because we all realized, like, oh, this is the last time before graduation. We're all gonna be in the same room together. Uh, it was just inspiring to be like, oh, you guys have came a long way through everything that you endured during this time. I and mean, you know, we're also still going through a pandemic but the fact that folks were still able to like pull off an amazing successful showcase was, was really beautiful to watch. It's very heartwarming to see folks really do well and to excel.